Thank much for staying with TV3. This is your election command center and we are bringing you a comprehensive coverage of the special voting exercise which has been ongoing across the country from 7 a.m. And still on that though, uh, you would recall that quite a number of reports have come into our studios with regard to people not finding their names on the list where they are supposed to vote. So let's go to the phone lines now. And one of the um, observer missions in Ghana, and uh, we have a local chapter, which is Kodeo, the Coalition for um, Domestic Election Observers, have also gone around the country. And we've been joined on the line by a board member, and, um, um, an advisory board member of Kodeo, to let us know what they make of the development so far. Mr. John Lavi, thank you very much for joining us. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, what does Kodeo make of the reports of people not finding their names on lists and uh, a few skirmishes reported across the country? Uh, well, it, it, it's unfortunate and it should be regrettable if uh, this is the beginning of the exercise and uh, like a dress rehearsal and it's happening this way. But we believe that the Electoral Commission can uh, come to the rescue of those who, who should be voting. They should be able to find uh, ways and means of... Uh, them registered. Uh, I mean, we're having them vote. Um, the options open are either for them to use the original list that the uh, the, the, the command their commands have sent, so that uh, that list can be uh, used uh, with 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 uh, the, the, their details taken, so that they do not go to vote anywhere again, or or ask them to. Uh, to, to, to ask them to wait and get the clearance very well to vote. I had the report this morning that some of the lists, some of the names were actually there, but they were messed up in other lists. So if they can do due, due diligence and get them vote, because otherwise they will be uh, they will be disenfranchised, and that that just makes us worry. Because if this is the first uh, special voters list and it very well kept. We are going to be worried about the proxy list or even the transfer list when, when the main uh, vote, uh, voting also begins. So uh, it's quite regrettable. Mr. Lavi, do you think this could have been prevented? Um, because the numbers seem to be quite alarming. Uh, where chief security officers, the heads of the um, you know security forces, are not finding their names, and some of the numbers are in excess of about. 80, 90, 100, some 120 people who are at a particular place but cannot find their names. Could this have been prevented? Well, I don't know about the numbers alarm because you're talking about uh, over 275 uh, polling stations. Uh, what we have got, the results, the reports we have got uh, also they talk about numbers but not in very high, mm. high degrees as such. But it could have been prevented if the electoral commission and the commands of the security agencies had worked in close contact so that uh, the, the, the list should be the same with the commands as well as the electoral commission. Uh, that is incredible. I don't know where the fault lies now, mm. uh, but it's, it's something that they should resolve quickly. And um, so your advice to the electoral commission would be to do what specifically so we don't have these people disenfranchised? Yes, the, the advice the letter you see, unfortunately, this list, when you compile it, it's, it's not like the main list that you call for exhibition or come and inspect and all that, so that you can correct errors. So our advice is to, to go over all these lists and uh, make sure that what they, what they have is the same as what the application, uh, what, what the people have applied for. And otherwise, we are going to have a problem with the process list as well as with the transfer voters list and all that. So uh, they should work harder. In these uh, remaining five days or six days, they should work harder to cross-check all the lists that they have prepared at the, at the later commission. And, and you believe we have good enough time to be able to do that? We have just about five days to go. Well, they are using computers. I mean, <laughs> they should be able to spot all the, 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 the missing names quickly. Okay. Mr. Lavi, thank you very much for uh, joining us and uh, giving us uh, Kodeo's position on this development, uh, which is quite disturbing across the country. We'll do well to get to speak to the Electoral Commission to let us know what they make of this and how they intend to resolve it ahead of uh, December 7. John Lavi is a member, um, an advisory member of the board of Kodeo. Now, let's go to that headline story we mentioned to you, which has to do with... Um, 
the uh, new love affair between the Progressive People's Party and the People's National Convention. I've been joined in studio by uh, a member of the PPP. But before that, though, let, let's give you a brief history or a brief story of the two opposition parties, that's the Progressive People's Party and the People's National Convention, PNC, have formed an alliance to contest the parliamentary election in, uh, on the 7th of December. The measure will see both parties campaign and vote for parliamentary candidates of um, each other in some constituencies across the country. The two parties said, quote, Ghana needs PPP and PNC members in parliament to advocate for needed changes in the 1992 constitution and to ensure that the health, social welfare and employment needs of the majority of our people become priorities and affirm the multi-party nature of our democracy. And that is what the, um, the statement that we have seen uh, seems to put across. And uh, we want to speak to Paco uh, Akon. He's a member of the Progressive People's Party and is actually the uh, Director of Communications for the PPP. Good afternoon, Paco, and thank you for joining us. Good afternoon, and thank you for having me. Okay, tell us about um, this measure. At what point uh, did both parties decide to you know, walk this path? Well, um, if you recall, um, as early as February uh, 2016, Dr. Indom called for a coalition government. And um, we were expecting uh, the PPP, the PNC, and the CPP to come together and, and form one solid uh, 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 force. force. Mm. But unfortunately, that did not materialize. But we thank God that um, even though at the presidential level um, we were not able to uh, uh, come together, but at the parliamentary level, um, this has been ongoing for a while. And by the grace of God, uh, we have finally reached an agreement. And we believe that the agreement we have reached is going to go a long way to deepen our multi party democracy. You know, we practice. Uh, multi-party democracy in Ghana, but if you go to our parliament, I mean, look at parliament. Sharp divide. Yes, polarize. And we always say that minority will have their say, a majority <laughs> will have their way. I'm saying that this kind of system cannot deliver the jobs our people are looking for, mm. because we know that decisions in this country are made by parliament. And so if you have a parliament which is supposed to be the representation of the people, but what you have is representation of parties, then we are not going anywhere. That is why in some jurisdictions they have opted for the proportional representation so that everybody's view mm. is, is clearly stated at the, at the, at the, at the, at the House of Parliament. So, so this, this decision was taken when and has the information been sent countrywide? Of course, of course, we've done this. Um, I, I would say that it is not as if the leaders woke up one day and said, look, let's do this. As I indicated earlier to you, this coalition idea uh, uh, can go as far back. Some people who have, have lived in this country for a while would even tell you that as far back as 1992, this mm -hmm. idea of bringing some like-minded people together has mm -hmm. been... Uh, been, uh, my, my, my question was actually premised on the fact that today people are voting across the country and there is a likelihood they might vote for a particular candidate. So w if the information had come a little earlier, then they would know that in this constituency where we have a PNC candidate, all PPP persons should vote for him or vice versa. Do you think that information has gone down with your people? You know, before we send information to the media, we've already communicated mm -hmm. to our people. Mm -hmm. So we've sent circular to our people. They know what to do. They are aware of this arrangement, and we are hopeful that they will make the right choices to ensure that the polarization we, we are currently confronted with mm. is, is reduced to the barest minimum. So, so um, help me understand, in a particular constituency where there is a PNC and a PPP candidate, what happens? One would have to stand out and back the other, is that it? Well, what we have told our people is that we have analyzed the situation, we know the strength of each party. Uh, we know that in some constituencies, the PNC candidate is more likely 
to win than our candidate. So for such constituencies, we've asked our people to support mm. the, 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 the candidate who is most likely to win. And same can be said with a PPP uh, 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 candidate. And so this arrangement, our people have embraced it. Okay. They're excited about it. And they believe that that is a, one of the, 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 the easy ways we can get to our parliament to make sure that our programs and policies should Dr. Papa Kwesindon become president mm. or Dr. Edward Mahama become president come December uh, 7th after the election. We are hopeful that if you have your own people there, even though in Ghana we don't practice the parliamentary, the, the, the parliamentary system, but the president, the executive mm. system of government, but you still need some of your people there to he advocate. To and, exactly. and so uh, under... Uh, Let's take, for instance, Dr. Papa Kusindum is president, and um, there are quite a sizable number of persons in parliament that are on the party ticket of the PNC, or that stood for the, uh, on the ticket of the PNC. What does that mean? They will be counted as part of those who the executive will be working with in parliament? <laughs> if you say the executive will be working with in parliament, I, I just don't understand, because we have been advocating that there, there is a need for us to have a separation between the executive and the legislature. Okay. The current arrangement is not helping parliament to perform its duties. You have people who are members of parliament and mm. at the same time uh, uh, ministers of state. They go and sit no, and take is, decisions. But that, but that is constitutional. It's the constitution that says that X number of persons in parliament I mean, uh, government ministers should be from parliament. So what we will do will be that we will amend the constitution because it has weakened parliament. How has do we? Go yes, but how do we go and sit down as cabinet members, take decision, drop it in parliament, and mm. expect same people to oppose it? It doesn't where, make sense where, where, where for does the PNC. Work? Okay, where, where, right. the, where, where in the world does this thing work? Right. All right. My final question to you would have to do with today's exercise, a special voting. What does the PPP make of it? And then also, we have had reports from some parts of the country saying that PPP reps are not at some of the polling stations. Well, I, I think that we must all admit that the electoral commission of this country has failed us. And we should be, we should be blunt about this matter. Look, we were at IPAC yesterday. They called for an emergency IPAC. I represented our party. And they brought this idea of people going to vote at where they registered or where they transferred their votes. Mm. I made the argument as if I was a seer. I said that this decision is likely to disenfranchise many people. And that is what we are seeing today. Mm. The MPP also complained of timing. They complained of timing. The others were okay with it. And look at what we, we are, we are, the EC has played this country into. A lot of people, they don't know what to do. I was there when a military man came, and he, 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 as if he also knew something like that was going to happen. The, the, the security agencies have submitted lists to you. What, what, what is this? What is happening? It is as if some people have planned to make sure that so many people they suspect are not likely to vote for them are disenfranchised. Well, and that, that, that is that's what the EC... That, but as it stands now, what is the PPP's position on it? And what do you intend to do? I mean, clearly, um, you still have some power as citizens and a, a, part, a political party in this year's election to, you know, undertake some kind of an exercise. What do you intend to do? What, what exercise can we take? We were at IPAC yesterday. We made the EC aware. But between now and the December 7, where we have a lot more people expected to vote, what do you think that the EC can do or should do? You see, the EC must, must stop this belligerent attitude it has. Look, we are all partners in this election, but you, the, the EC creates a, a, a platform, political parties come and they are more or less like spectators, and they tell you this is what we want to do, whether I like it or not, this is what we are going to do. Mm -hmm. And from time immemorial, all the decisions the electoral commission has taken over the years hasn't helped us what do you do you are going into an election and you know you don't have time you engage yourself in needless legal battle that is one 
Number Needless? two. Yes. But the PPP is one of the key parties that took the EC Because to we have interest. The EC has no interest in a legal matter. The, the, the legal battle we fought. How, how, how does that help the electoral commission? No, but you dragged the EC to court. We and dragged it. It had to slow down their timetable. The court gave a ruling. That should have brought finality to the matter. It was unnecessary for us to go to the Supreme Court. And when the Supreme Court had even taken a decision, the EC said, no, I don't understand. I have gone through it. I have seen 100 mistakes. I have seen 300. But doesn't that all play into the, the fact that we are a democratic nation? It shows, and it shows the, how, want to test how, the it courts shows to how inefficient the commission is. You hmm. can't tell me that you found one mistake. Then later you tell me you, found, you, you have found 300. I mean, what, what kind of society hmm. are we building? Okay. But let me say this. Look, we have election, an, uh, election to... to, to 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 um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, but but, but there's the elections election coming up yeah. at hand, and then you EC, you have very experienced people, mm. because you suspect that these people are not on your side or not on the side of government. You transfer all these experienced people to Central Regi, Brongafu, and so on. How do then, you know that? Ah, but that How is do what, you know that? that? No. Look, well, uh, Mr. Akon, Chief, that is that an allegation. What, what I'm saying. Mm -hmm is what is on the ground. The electoral commission is not far from here. Why well, do you think well, they well, brought we'll uh, see, we'll all see. these people? We'll see, but that, that is, uh, that's an allegation. But thank you very much for your position. We wish you well in this alliance between the PPP and the PNC. Um, we'll see how it plays out, um, hopefully by the 8th of December, when uh, we have um, results coming in. And um, we've been speaking with uh, Park or Akon. He's the Director of Communications for the um, uh, Progressive People's Party, the PPP.